Before the video starts, I would like to ask that you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell for notifications, leave a comment down below, and like the video. I would heavily appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. This video was recorded and streamed on Twitch. Be sure to visit and follow if you want to see some live content filmed by yours truly. Last time we were, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to organize this whole room thing, right? And I sort of got it for the... For the most part. It's just coming down to... Putting it in order, I guess. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to take all the item... Like, I'm going to take all these items, like, not placeable stuff. I'm going to shove them into a chest real quick, because I think I can organize it a lot better that way. That the bars are placeable. I'm stupid. I'll uh, just leave it there anyways. Too lazy to fix it. Do you want to live with Cat in the future? <laughs> because I know you guys don't live together yet. Ah, oh, yeah, that's 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 the that's the dream right there. We're not ready for that yet because she's still going to college. And that's it. As soon as Cat probably graduates, something might happen. I'm not sure, but something might. But none of you heard it from me. Why do you have so many chests, Davis? This is a this is my storage room, man. Just chest as far as the eye can see. You must have fucking far- Jesus, you are blind then, Bunny. What the fuck you mean? Actually, wait, Bunny, don't you- Bunny, you already have bad vision. What? <laughs> I stand corrected. Bunny is blind. Editing a video on a Chromebook. Oh, so fun. You are my entertainment as I just die. Dude, I wish you luck editing that. Jesus Christ, that sounds like hell to go through. That's not even- that's not me just- that's not me being condescending. It just sounds like utter shit. By the way, yes, I am purposely ignoring your question, Bunny, and I will not read it out because everyone on YouTube should- instead of be watching on YouTube, should be watching on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TheInvisibleDavis because this is gonna be turned into a YouTube video. You know when your parents, like, say that school's the best part of your life and all that? That's bullshit. Still, I still say it's bullshit. I don't know if I talked about it before, but like a long time ago, like in high school, this was fucking years ago. Um, there was this one bitch, one ultra massive suhupa lanka honka kind of bitch, right? And the reason she was such a bitch was because she wanted to be, right? And she bullied me constantly in like middle school and a little bit through high school. So one day I fucking had enough and I more or less screamed at her. Actually, more like I just straight up fucking top of my lungs. Like I could feel my fucking vocal cords start to shred. Just started screaming and yelling at her, like calling her all these horrible things that I refuse to say now because, goddamn, I didn't really hold back then. And essentially, what happened next was that she started to cry. And then she went to the principal's, not the principal's, but she, like, you know, went to the dean's office and talked to them about, like, what I said. And. I was the one that got into trouble, despite the fact that I've gone to the dean multiple times telling them that she has constantly bullied me, picked on me, and all this other shit. But after that, she never bothered me. Not once. Not once has she bothered to come and bully me after that. Instead of, like, beating them up, just fucking scream at them, because, like, what else are they going to do? Punch you? Even then? Actually, who fucking knows? I just got lucky, if I'm being honest. I have three projects, two essays, four assignments that I have not done. <coughs> what? Oh, fuck, okay. <coughs> oh, dude. Dude, dude. Ugh. You should do that. Story time with Davis? Alright. Now, this one's actually true. Okay? When I was... I think I was... Seven? I don't entirely remember. When I was seven or six, I had this... I had this... <laughs> now, listen, listen. Not, uh, no, let me change it, let me change that one. Uh, still same age. When I was seven, there was this one kid called... For, for the sake of the story, we're gonna call him uh, Frank. Fuck it, Frank. And um, <clears throat> this kid was Hispanic. 
And he was a ruthless son of a bitch. Because I don't know like what what hole he crawled out of and died, but whenever um like recess was about to begin, right? We'd always play tag or like some form of the game like tag or touch or like f football, not really football. We didn't really have a football thing. But point is that was still still a thing. Right? And every time this kid would like stroll on onto the playing field, right? He would just stroll on in and everyone was scared of him. You wanna know why? Because this kid, I don't fucking know what kind of drugs he was taking, but let me tell you, a fucking footballer, could, a fucking like, you know, a seven foot tall football player, they couldn't take him down. He was just rushing through everything. He would tackle you down to the ground and then, th then he wouldn't wail on you, but he was fast as all shit. I still remember when um, he was it, like, you know, tagged and all that kind of crap. And he, he chased me around so much. Now, I was, I was a decently fast kid in my own right, but this kid, like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? I didn't know I was racing against Usain Bolt for the right to live. Do you ever just want to drop a baby on its head? How did you meet John? Uh, that's a good question. To be honest, it was really just through Brian. I've answered this question like a thousand times. It was through Brian that I met John, and that's literally it. I just asked if I could work for the guy, do some improv stuff, and he said yes, and that's it. That is the whole that is the whole process to as to this whole fucking relationship. And then he made and then he then he, and then he pinned it on me that I called Steel Furry. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole process of a friendship and a relationship right there. Calling people furries. <laughs> Even though I've never used it as an insult before, I don't think I ever will. How did you meet Brian? I, uh... I applied on a casting call thing for Brian. And from that point on, it's been hell ever since. Because the guy, let me tell you, he's a damn nut job. Let me fucking talk that much. <laughs> he asked to, he, he hired me to do like a channel thing for him. And like, let me tell you, I don't know about you, but who would hire this ugly mug? <laughs> I don't have a face in my fucking persona. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I simp for Molten. Bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's a dick. He would not share your feelings whatsoever. Bro, how long did it take for you to make those walls? Oh yeah, um, this shit... Fucking a week? I had... I had all the iron in the world, so I just spent it. It took a while to make this, and I'm still not done because I want to build a trench and all that shit. But I gotta get rid of that fucking mountain over there because... It's just kind of... It's a little too close for me. By the way, announcements chat, I made my Discord. You should join it. It's, it's going to be in the link of my YouTube stuff. Go there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. All that kind of crap. As well as join the Discord. In It's in the thing. It's in my video descriptions as well as on the top... The bottom right of my banner shit. I don't know what to fucking call it. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash The Invisible Davis. That's literally it. You said it's coming out soon. When is soon? Uh... Watch out. That's really all I'll say about that. Alright. Welcome to MVT MTV uh, crew crib cr What was it crib tours or whatever the fuck it was This is my house. I only I only got fucking chests for days <laughs> That's literally it Davis you have a problem. I don't have a problem. You have the problem. Uh, to those that don't know, that don't know who Kiwi is, Kiwi is an amazing artist on my Discord, and they make very good art. It's currently of FTO Davis, and this is one of the pieces. And they're also working on something that I don't want to show off yet because that's something that they want to do, on, and they'll do it on their own time. But just look at this lad. I love, I fucking love fan art in any shape, way, or form, unless it's like porn. That's literally it. I, I just don't like the porn of it. But still, Kiwi, mad lad, fucking great artist. I love their work. All right, so he, there's an inside joke on my Discord, by the way. So if you look in the welcome chat, there is an emoji that's always constantly used for new members. It's the eggplant. This has been going on like ever since the beginning of this whole entire chat. Hold up. Did I pin it? 
Yeah, I did. Fucking literally the entirety of this chat. Just reaction with eggplants. The entire time. This is literally... It's been a fucking year! Holy shit, I just realized that. The joke has been going on for a year. Has not stopped a little bit. My god. Dedication, let me tell you that much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Does anybody know how to how to make the kids in your basement shut up? I think... Like, no, I'm sorry, I can't really say this method works for everybody, but like... Um... Best way to make them stop is to snuff them out. And what I mean by that is not like, you know, choke them out or whatever, but like, s like, control how much air goes down there for the most part. And eventually they, they'll just tire themselves out because the oxygen is not going to be as strong. Because you're, again, you're blocking off the oxygen and all that crap. Davis, can we get a hint hint from the logo thing you posted? I gotta think how I'm going to give this hint because I can't. Just, it, obviously, it can't be like, you know, like, ah, oh, it's this or whatever. What I can say, for the most part, is that it is something that I've thought of for a very long time, and how it has drastically well, not. No, not fuck it. Drastically, it has changed drastically. How it drastically it changes and shifts throughout the story and how much it has changed overall. Because the initial plan wasn't what it was before. But uh, I'll tell you this much. it uh, I did plan a lot for it. By the way, the hint is that it's in space, obviously. What the fuck you mean? Oh, by the way, can I talk about how fucking hard it's been from, like, doing doing other voices? Because, like, uh, Charles, Charles is a bit more southern like this and all that. But then, but sometimes I start switching over to the Bonnie voice because it's just, it's, it's the same, it's the same fucking thing, right? But it's just a bit deeper. It's just a bit deeper. They all, they both act the same. Sometimes I start recordings and like this and all of a sudden I just start realizing I have not fucking gone back from the damn thing, have I? God damn it. This is the end of the, this is the end for like one of the episodes, alright? Uh, if you guys like this, subscribe and all that crap. You can fucking watch live on twitch.tv slash Invisible Davis. That's where I stream now. And I'm not going to stream anymore on YouTube because YouTube streaming fucked my channel. <sighs> That's it. Thank you.